Easy Digital Downloads lets you create coupons, or as they call them, discount codes. And these can be found under Downloads, Discount Codes. From here we click Add New. And then we just fill out the information here. Name is what we call this internally. So we'll just call this the same thing as we're going to call the actual coupon. Let's just call it $10 off. The code is what the user enters in the actual checkout. And then we have two options here for the type, percentage or flat amount. I tend to like flat amount as it's a little bit easier to use. So I might give someone a flat amount of $10 off. But if you want to use percentages, you can do that. Recently, I used this feature when someone wanted to buy the early bird price of a particular product, but they had credit card issues and couldn't do it in time. So I was able to give them a flat discount so they could still buy the product at the early bird price and everyone else purchased the product at the regular price. So even simple discounts like this can be very useful. This next option lets you choose a specific product. So in the previous example, you can actually specify what product this discount is applied to. So let's say we want to incentivize people to buy our very first product, building your first robot. We could do that. And there's a few more options, like if you want the discount to apply to all of the things in the cart or just some of the things. For our example here, I'll just remove this. If you want, you can specify specific products not to include. A start date can be useful, an expiration date. One of the fields I do find very useful is minimum amount. So let's say you have an advertisement on a podcast. You can say if you buy $50 worth of our stuff, then you can use the $10 off discount. That's a nice way to make sure you get money in the door and the customer still gets something. And then the maximum uses can be useful if you're doing some sort of giveaway where it's an insanely good discount, but you don't want everyone to use it. And then one of the things I definitely recommend is one use per customer. So this way, if someone has a $10 off discount, they don't use it for every single purchase for forever more. Once you're done, just click add discount code and it's ready to go. And then let's check it out on the front end. So I'll just copy this and let's go view our site. We will find where we announced our product. There it is, we've already added it to our cart in a previous video, so it just says checkout. So we'll scroll down. Here's have a discount code, click to enter it. So we'll click that, you can type it in, hit apply. Whoops, looks like I forgot to turn off the minimum. So I'll go ahead and change that minimum quickly. I'll open my admin. We'll go to Downloads, Discount Codes, and I will remove that minimum, or we'll set it to just $10. We'll go back to our checkout, hit Apply, and now it works. So we can see $18 minus $10, so a total of $8.48. All of this looks good, and we just click Purchase. And there we go. And that's discount codes. They're pretty simple, but of course, you want to test them just to make sure you didn't type in something incorrectly like I did. They are a very effective marketing tool. I definitely recommend looking into them if you want to promote your site on videos or podcasts.